Hi guys, Corey from Antique Envy. Welcome. If you haven't been here before, this is my first video on this channel. A little bit about myself. I have been selling on eBay part-time for about 10 years and I now do it full-time. I have an antique booth. My booth is at Main Street Antiques and Design Center here in Mooresville, North Carolina. Stop by if you're in the area. There's hundreds of vendors. It's a beautiful space. But I also sell full-time on eBay. I thrift, I go to estate sales, flea markets, auctions, wherever I can find stuff. And I've got a haul for you. So let's start. So first off, I found this wonderful iron stoneware. Calyx Wear by Adams. I've got about eight teacups and saucers. Salad plates and dinner plates. Those will be in my eBay store. This adorable little studio piece of pottery is now online, on auction ending Sunday, next Sunday. Isn't it adorable? There's a back stamp. I couldn't find any information about this piece, so if you guys are aware of the artist or the pattern, feel free to let me know. I love vintage stuff. Here's a My Kitchen's Prayer plaque. This is, I'm gonna date this from maybe 60s, 70s. It's by Multi Products Incorporated USA. About 10 inches across. That's in my eBay, eBay store now. Another piece of pottery that I cannot find any information on. This is a Japanese piece. Here's the back stamp. The glaze. It's about a nine inch diameter bowl. I have a thing for pottery. I just love it. Another beautiful piece. I know you guys have seen these before. Isn't this adorable? The little vintage um, train for a baby. Teleflora. Different florists would put these out with arrangements. It's made in China but it's still relatively vintage. I'd, I'd say probably 80s, but here. It plays It's a Small World. Isn't it just charming? There's another little vintage porcelain piece. This is bisque porcelain made in Japan, probably the 70s by a company called Hamco. The sticker is missing off the bottom, but I've researched this piece and that's who it's by, Hamco, H-O-M-C-O. -O. He's adorable. Sticking with the animal theme, look at this wonderful piece. Isn't she pretty? A bright pink cockatiel with her gold beak. Again, unstamped, but that's definitely a vintage piece in my eBay store. Another animal. Oh my gosh, how can you resist? When I find stuff like this at the thrift store, I can't put it down. Look how cute she is. She's pink, a little playful kitty. Again, unmarked. And staying with the pottery and animal theme, I got this guy. Again, I couldn't resist him. Look at him. An old English sheepdog. He's not signed. How can you resist something so cute? His cute little face. Oh my goodness. 
One more piece of pottery to show you. You may be familiar with this brand. She's current. This was probably, oh, yep, 2001. It says it right on the side. This is Treehouse Inn by Heather Goldmink. Her stuff sells well on eBay, Heather Goldmink. It looks like you could put a tea light in here, which I find kind of strange since it was a hanging wind chime. But it'd be pretty in the garden. Here's another Japanese piece that is porcelain, brass handle. It says where friendship blossoms, happiness grows. It looks like Holly Hobby, but it's not. It's by a company called Designs Collection and from the 80s. This is like 1981. It is porcelain. Another eBay listing. The name of my store is Jewelry Rack, J-E-W-E-L-R-Y-R-A-C-K on eBay. I love selling vintage jewelry, but my store doesn't only carry jewelry. All the stuff I've just shown you will be listed, as well as plenty of jewelry. And here's a good example. I just listed this. Definitely a vintage piece. This is by Leigh Bernard. I don't think the tag's gonna show up well on the video, but I'm gonna put it up there. This brand sells really well for good, good, good money. There's a lot of runway pieces, statement pieces. They've been featured in Vogue magazine. I believe these are plastic. They could actually be glass. They're a little bit cool to the touch, but not like glass should be. And it's a 16 inch choker necklace. So cute. In the designer theme, oh, I couldn't pass these up. I got these in an estate sale. It was like fill a bag for $10. How could you pass these up? Stuart Weissman, New York, leather pumps. They are black. It was hard to tell if they were navy, but they, I held them up to a black item. They're definitely black with the polka dots and the leather cap toe, about two and a half inches on the heel, size eight. Those are now in my eBay store. So cute. I'm originally from New England. I lived in New Hampshire, so I was very surprised to find this piece. It's a Lazy Susan ash wood handmade basket from the Peterborough Company. And they're in Peterborough, New Hampshire. Beautiful handmade piece. That's in my eBay store. Wouldn't that look lovely on your kitchen table? More kitchen items, a few more to go here. Another thing I couldn't resist. Got a Jack Daniels cocktail shaker. Old number five brand Jack Daniels. And here's a gem of vintage item. Well, that was a pun that wasn't intended. <laughs> Gemco, this little gem. It's a nut grinder or an herb grinder. It's got plastic teeth in there. You put in some walnuts or something, grind those up for your baking. It's adorable. This won't bring much, but I can't pass stuff up like this when I find it in the thrift stores. Last piece for today. This is a bowl by Anchor Hawking. It's got this little hook on it. And then the second bowl goes inside. So this is a chip and dip bowl. These pieces are usually missing. 
So if you see, ever see anything in your thrift store when you're out and about, shaped like this, looked like this, you're wondering what it is. These will sell for decent money just by themselves if you can find them. But this one is complete. Mid-century, probably uh, later 60s, closer to the 70s, but beautiful. There's the medallion shape on it. Thanks guys for watching. Please like and subscribe while I try to build my YouTube channel and my eBay store and my antique booth up. I love you guys, all the support you give me, and stay tuned for more upcoming thrift videos. Bye.